In this video we're going to look at how we can create a program that encrypts a message using a Caesar cipher using flow algorithm. The key requirements are to enter a message, enter a numer numerical key, shift the letter right by the key, so for example if the key is 5, A will then become F, and then dis display the encrypted message on the screen. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this. We'll start off by declaring a few variables that we're going to need. So we'll declare a variable called message. That's going to contain the message. Make it string. We'll declare an encrypted message, which is going to complain. contain our encrypted message once we've worked through it. Encrypted. That string. Um, we do need to assign that straight away, and we'll set that up as an empty string so we can add to it later. We also need to include a couple of other variables, so we'll declare a variable called i which we'll just use as an indices later, and obviously we need to have our key. It's also going to be an integer. And there's one last variable that we're going to look at a little later, which I'm just going to call letter for now and it's going to contain the numerical value of the letter. So the first job we need to do is to get the key. So let's have a message. Please enter a key. And let's take in the key. Okay, and then we need to take in the message. Let's display a message, please enter a message, and we'll take that in as well. Now the way this is going to work, we're going to look at the message, access each letter of the message, find out its ASCII value, add the key to it, and then find the new letter at that new ASCII position. So we'll start with a for loop. And we're going to say for i from 0 to the length of the message. But we're going to take one off it because the length of the message is one longer than the indexes because the index starts at 0. And then over here to assign the variable we created called letter and we're going to use a function in flowgrithm called toCode. And what toCode allows us to do is to get the character and identify its ASCII value. So I've got the character, the word and its position. So made a mistake there, let's have a quick look. So, two code, open brackets, char, or oh, don't a comma there. There we go. Now we can see what that's doing by just printing out letter to see what happens. And what you'll see is as I run it, if I enter a key of five, and enter a message, computer, and run it, shouldn't have been word, that should have been message, there we go. So we'll run that again. Key of five, computer, and we get these numbers, 67, 79, 77. Now if we look at an ASCII value chart, We'll be able to see if that's correct. So let's look at that. Here's an ASCII chart. Capital C for computer is indeed 67, and then the O, capital O should be 79. If we look at our output, we've got 79. So we know the numbers there are correct. So we can remove that test for the moment. Now the next thing we're going to need to do 
is we're going to think, have to think about spacing because in a ASCII chart, 32 is the character for a space and A to Z fits in 67 to 90 something, 90 to 90. So we need to check that space. So we're going to say if the letter that we've got as a numerical value is equal to 32, which is a space, we're going to just set our encrypted message so encrypted equals encrypted plus a space if it's not this side this is where we can deal with our encryption so the first job to do is to take the letter and add to it the key once we've done that we need to think about well what happens when we get to Z well if we get to Z we've got 90 we're going to end up with 95 for example which is outside our alphabetical range so we need to check for that so a for loop My apologies not a for loop if statement if the letter is greater than 90 then we need to take 26 away so we'll assign is letter minus 26 because there's 26 letters in the alphabet so that should go back round to A. Now we can encrypt so we'll assign the encrypted message equals the encrypted message plus using the ampersand a function called to char which does the opposite of to code it takes the numerical value converts it back to, a, to a, a letter and it's the letter that we're converting now obviously what we need to do now is to output so we're going to output encrypted so let's test this run it a key of five the word of computing Fun. press enter and I've got my encrypted message just here now we can also check whether that's dealing with the latter part of the alphabet so W X Y Z Oops. Okay, 5 W X Y Z and we can see that's moving over as well so all working okay this is actually part of the OCR 2016 task one for the controlled assignment and if we look on the controlled assignment for task one computing is fun comes up with our message so let's just check and compare let's run our program key at five computing is fun Let's compare the messages are the same to it so we know that it's working. And there we go. Matching. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video we'll look at how we can go back the other way and how we can take our encrypted message and convert it to normal text.